Good morning. It's 11 o'clock and we are going to start our live webinar on subscriptions and portals. And I hope by the end of this webinar, it will be simplified for you and you can understand how the subscription and the portal work seamlessly together. So I'm going to break it down. A subscription, let's just uh, take away that word. All it is, it's an automatic email. So you can set up a, a safe search for your client and you can monitor that area every day and manually send your client emails. Or you can take advantage of the automatic email within Flex MLS. So once you set up a search for your client, you can just set up an automatic email and you can get a copy so you know exactly what listings or updates to that search your client's getting. And by updates, I mean if there's a property and it gets a price change or a status change, that's going to be an update. So those also are included in the automatic emails. So why don't we get started? Um, we'll start out with, say we have a brand new client. Uh, it's not going to be in one of our farm areas. Uh, they have some specific criteria that they're looking for. So let's go ahead and just do a search. Okay, so I'm going to um, just get rid of this video box here. Oh, one thing, um, there is a question and answer box at the bottom of your screen. I will be looking at the questions and answers periodically. Um, because I know you probably will have questions. So please feel free to type your questions in there and I'll read them and I'll answer them out loud to the whole class instead of typing the answers in. Okay, let's get into Flex and get started. All right, so our client is looking for a pool home. So I'm going to start out with a property subtype. It's a single family. I'm going to come down to pool description, or no, I'm sorry, not pool description, uh, pool location. So we have a single family with a pool. Their price, they said keep it, uh, keep it under 500,000. So we're going to put our 500,000 as our max. They didn't specify a city or anything, but they did say that they needed three bedrooms and as far as square footage, it can't be anything less than 1,600 square feet. Well, we have quite a few results here. I'm surprised. So I have 56 results. All right, I need to narrow this down some more. All right, I'm just gonna put some cities in here. Let's put their preferred cities. So let's go Palm Desert. La Quinta, let's go Cathedral City, okay we've got 20 homes so I'm I'm thinking that's 
that's a good amount of homes for this client to, you know, scan through and see what they like. So, all right, so we are going to save this search now. Um, this is a new client. I don't have them in my contact management yet, so we're going to go in and save this search. We're going to call it Pool Homes. Up to 500. Oh. And let's call this, let's say this client, he's new. We're going to call him Wade Smith. Okay, I've got his email. All right, so we want to invite him to the portal and we want to click on invite this customer to the portal and the reason we want to do that is because that's where your client can search for properties he can view the saved searches that you have for them and that that allows him to be able to um, save things and go back and look at them and share them from inside that portal and also, the other major advantage of this portal is that you can go in and look at their activity and monitor what they're looking at and sharing from, from within contact management. So, all right, so we're going to just click on save and add this to subscription. Okay, so here is, you can see it says add subscription. So this is basically the automatic email that we're setting up. Here's the name. I'm just going to take out this subscription part. Pool homes up to 500,000. It's going to me, the sender, and be sure that this box is selected contacts. Be sure that is checked. If you have safe searches and subscriptions that aren't working, Come back and be sure that's checked, okay? Here's our contact. This is where you set up the schedule. So you need to, you know, kind of know what your client is looking for. Do they want to get an email once a day? Um, if there's going to be a lot of activity and you have ASAP selected, that might be too many emails that they're getting. It might fill up their box a lot. So you might want to consider doing it once a day and it goes around 11 a.m. Or if they're in a they're super motivated and they need a house right it right away, then select ASAP. All right, here's our email content and the subject. So just remember this is the automatic email they're going to be getting all the time. So keep it brief and put um listing or let's call it let's say new listings. and updates and that's pool homes and we'll just put 500 all right so now we know what it is we have the body of our email and we're going to save so we just saved our automatic email now we have a little pop-up so you can email these listings now. So we had our 20 search results and we can email these to our clients now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go over to this mailinator. And we're going to look at the email that we sent. that Wade is going to get. Okay, so this is what the email looks like that your client's gonna get. 
it says trainer trainer and that would be your name has invited you to sign up so your client will sign up for the portal here and then he's also got an email with the new listings so anytime the first time that you send a client some listings they just have to verify that yes please send me those listings it's just saying that it they did approve that you're sending them listings okay let's go into our contact management and let's open up wade smith And let's go under this portal tab. This is also where you can see some information. So I can see that the portal is turned on for Wade Smith. And this is where you can invite him to the portal again. I'm gonna go into this contact details. And if you notice right here, it says status pending. This is an indicator that he has not signed up yet. Okay. It will say confirmed once he starts using it and looking at the listings. Obviously, we just sent them and they're not touched yet. Send an opt in request. All right, I can send that. And that was just, um, he's opting in to look at listings. All right. Let's go and look at the inside of the portal. So if your client's on a desktop and he's opening the listings, this is what it looks like. You have a map on the right. You have the listings on the left. If I go into the saved tab, this is where all the saved searches for your client live. And I'm showing you a client that I already have set up. So I have one, two, three, four safe searches set up for this client. If I go into this news feed, this is where all of the updates to the listings, this is where the subscription and the automatic emails go. So it, under the save tab, these are the saved searches. Any updates to these safe searches go to your client's newsfeed. So of all those four searches in my client, there's been two new listings out of all those four searches. Now your client can come in here and he can click on a listing. go through the photos he can contact you if he clicks here you are going to get a message he can see more information and let's go back okay so he really loves this he's going to put a star so he's liking this photo. All right, let's go to this listing. Let's look at this. All right, so he looks through this listing. Looks like we have some media here. So they get to see all the media within their portal. Okay, so let's say that your client does not like this listing. So when we go back, this is where the hide comes in. So your client doesn't want to keep seeing these listings. He wants to get like eliminate them because he doesn't like it. So that's what the hide button's all about. So he just clicks like the hide button. And all that means is your client is not seeing it anymore because he's not interested in it and he's not going to get any more updates on it so if there's a 
status change or a price change, he won't get the information because it's hidden. Uh, if he changes his mind for some reason, he can unhide it. So that's the explanation of hiding a listing. Um, now, I'm in the desktop version of the portal, and there's a map over here on the right. When your client is in the mobile app, they won't see the map, but they will see a little map icon, and it's a blue little map icon. So that's where they can go and look at a map if they're in the mobile application, because obviously there's not enough room in the mobile app for all this stuff. So there is a little map icon at the bottom, and they can click on the map if they want to look at a listing. I'm clicking on the home, and this is what the home page looks like. So if they log in and they're on their mobile, they're going to see this. It's going to have your name, your photo, more information. This is where you get messages back and forth uh, to and from your client. And also, if you have listings, they will show up here. Also, there's a search button. So your client can come in here and search independently of um, the safe searches you have for them. So they can come in here and they can click on this filter. And let's say they want to look in Indian Wells. I don't have any safe searches for my client in Indian Wells. So they're in here and they're looking for properties. So they can just look on their own. And this is great for them because this keeps them out of Zillow and Realtor.com. This is going to have the most up-to-date information on listings. So this is great. It keeps them from going to those third-party sites. Any information that they need about a property, they will contact you because there's no listing information within here. So that's great. Let them go in here. Let them search. Okay, so... I'm going to go back and we are going to look at this contact. Okay, so the contact we were just in, okay, we have four safe searches. If I click on each one of these, this one does not have a subscription. This one has a subscription. This one has a subscription and Central Palm Springs has a subscription. So I have a subscription for the Central Palm Springs single family residence search. Indian Palms, I have a subscription. And Pool Homes up to 450,000, I have a subscription on this. You can remove any of these searches here. You can edit a search and you can actually add a new search from right within contact management. All right, let's look at the activity that our client was just doing. I'm gonna go back into this portal button. And notice down here, it says most recent unsafe search. If I click right here, this shows me my client's portal. This is my recent unsafe search. So remember your client was in the portal and he was looking in Indian Wells. Well, look here. This shows that your client was searching in Indian Wells. So you were able to see what your client was searching for from within contact management. This is very powerful. Let's go back to contact management. And let's do that again. All right, so we're going into portal. Down here, if your client has done any searching on his own, 
you can check and look at, you can view the search parameters also. Let's click there. So this tells you the parameters that your client was searching for. How powerful is that? This really helps you to see what your client is really looking for. You can get a lot of information from this and possibly set up some more safe searches or have some dialogue around that. Powerful stuff. Okay, let me see if I have any questions. No, I don't. Okay, good. All right, let's look again. We're going back into that client. Now let's check out the activity. Okay. This blue bar shows your client is active. Let me close this real quick. See these blue bars? These are your active clients. These are the ones you wanna concentrate on. Go into activity. I can look at the viewed listings. So let's go see what our client's looking at. Our client looked at this Gem Circle in Palm Springs five times, Leonard Road in Palm Springs four times. They looked at this listing on Vega Road in Cat City three times and this listing in Palm Desert twice. Okay, so this indicates if they're looking at a listing more than one time, they are extremely interested. You can also see that if they share the listing. So if they send a listing to their mother, father, uh, spouse, uh, that's another indicator that they're really interested in this property. So it's, it kind of lets you know, maybe you should reach out and say, hey, want to take a look at this property. So this is great and it's very simple. So, let's go in, and if there's any messages that get sent from the portal to you, you can look right here in this messages box also. So when you have um, active, clients which are shown by that blue bar maybe you need to be looking at your messages and see if they're sending anything okay so another way you can set up searches and subscriptions right from within contact management i call this doing it through the back door so this is a good way to do it if you have a client and you already have safe searches saved that would just go perfectly with your client. So I can just set up my client. So I can come in here, put my client's name. I'm in contact management, right? So I put in my contact's name, put their email address, click on portal, and then add them in. So then my client's added. So I'm going to come in into the searches and subscriptions. Now I did have one saved search that did not have a subscription, but let me show you how you add a new search here. So I'm just going to click on add. And these are all my saved searches. So I'm going to select this Rancho Mirage condo, 2,000 square feet. I'm gonna attach this search. Okay, so I just selected a safe search. I added it to my contact. Now this is gonna show up in the portal. So let me show you that. I'm going into saved. And let me refresh. And there we go. So now we have added a, another safe search for your client. You can have as many safe searches as you want. So you might have an investor and you just keep, you know, throwing stuff in there. All right, so we will go back. So there is a safe search, but now we want to set up a subscription. So 
we don't have to manually send listings on this search criteria. So let's set up a subscription. So we highlight the search that we're setting up the subscription for, and we come over here and we just click add a subscription. And we're gonna name this, I think it was Rancho Mirage Condos, 2,000 square feet. All right, send notification of new listings to me, the sender, that's you, the real estate agent, and the contact. Here's your contact. What schedule do you want them on? Do you want them to just get one email a day? Are they super motivated? Do you want them to get it ASAP? Well, I'm gonna set it for ASAP this time. And my subject again, and if you kind of get lost and don't know where you're at, and you kind of like, am I sending an email? Is this an email of the listings? Is this a subscription? What am I doing? Just look at the headings under your email bodies. Edit subscription, okay? So this is the subscription. So this is what, this is the automatic email. They're gonna get this anytime there's an update. So keep the email brief. And in the heading, just put, uh, you know, new listings and updates. And then we'll call this um, Ranch Mirage Condos. All right, and we have a little body. It's pretty simple. Yes, these are the newest listings and updates. And then we're going to save. Okay, so it's as easy as that. We have, we'll click on our new safe search that we added to this client. And here we go. We can see we have a subscription. Okay, so let's, let's not make it complicated. Let's keep it simple. Um, all that this is is just automatic emails. It's gonna make your workflow so much easier. So go into your contacts, open them up. Let's look at this one. Open up your contacts and check your searches and subscriptions. Do you have searches attached to your client? Do you want to add more safe searches? Is there a subscription set up for each of these searches? Are they searching on their own? So look at this client. She's not doing any searches independently. She's relying specifically on the safe searches that I've set up for her in the portal and any news feeds, which are the listing updates. Let's look at her activity. Okay, so we can see she is very active. Let's check out her activity um, as far as viewing listings. So she's really interested in this uh, property here. So viewing this property 15, 10 times, you know, she's really looking at that. And here's some shared listings. So she's shared three of these listings. That means she's emailed them to people. Um, so that shows a genuine interest. This um, client's out of town, so I'll, we'll have to wait on that to see when she's coming into town. Let's go into our contact details. So we can see here the status is confirmed, which means obviously she is using the portal. Here's our email activity. So subscriptions viewed 34 times uh, manual emails we can look at properties she's viewed listings automatically sent 38 so that means that those are the automatic emails so that saves me the agent you the agent the real estate professional 
this allows you uh, just to work smarter. All right, so I'm gonna open up, if, does anyone have a question? Okay, I see one question. Do you receive email notes through your email? No, you don't, unfortunately. Um, your email, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about your business email, like your gmail.com or your bbhomes.com, whatever your business email is. It doesn't go to your business email. It goes only through the MLS email, and that's within our contact management. Maybe at some point, uh, Flex will get to that point where they will um, have an option where it can go to your email. But as of right now, that is not an option. Okay, I feel like I've covered everything I need to cover about subscriptions. So again, let's see if I missed anything. Okay, so I'm in the portal. If your uh, client's on a desktop, this is what the portal looks like. We have under the saved tab, you can see this is their saved searches and it tells you which ones have subscriptions. Let me go into the MLS and let's say, okay, so we set up a search uh, for our client. They were looking for pool homes up to 500,000, right? So let's say that we were doing a search and we were looking for another client. Um, so uh, they were looking also for a pool home. Uh, let's say that they were looking up to say 550,000. And let's go ahead and put in some cities. Okay, so I have pool home, La Quinta and Palm Desert up to 550,000. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some bedrooms in here. I think we needed three bedrooms. And we needed a minimum, let's go 2,000 square feet on this one. All right, so, so I'm looking for another client. I'm going to sort the properties. Oh, they already are sorted by price. Okay, so I'm looking through properties for another client. And let's look through these photos. Okay, so I see this house. And let's say it was just reduced. And this is fabulous. It would be a perfect home for my other client. So I, it, but it, it's not going to go into their um, subscription or their automatic email because it's above their price range but it's just a little bit above their price range. So what I can do is, see this little suitcase? It says recommend to contact. So I can, while I'm looking for properties for a whole different client, and I see this property, then I think of my other client, I'm like, wow, this would be great. It's only a little bit over their price range. So I can click on this recommend and I enter that client's name. So I select that client and I click OK. And that's what we call working on behalf of. So I've recommended this property to my client. And now if you come up here, it says for Catherine Cece. So this is, it's gonna say for your client's name here. And this is where it takes you into 
your client's portal. All right, and so maybe there's another property. So maybe there's another property I see that I want to recommend. So I click on this property. And now look over here, it says recommended. So let me unrecommend. Notice the numbers changing. So now there's zero, but I'm going to recommend these properties. So I have two recommended properties for this client. Also, I can save this listing. So I could throw it into a saved list, uh, saved status for a client also. And then this is another way, uh, yeah, I mean, you can hide stuff too. So watch hidden by agent. So I just hid this property. So in other words, like if I come in and I'm looking in my client's portal at this search for Central Palm Springs. And let's say that for some reason, I need to hide this property here. I can go ahead and hide it. So that's going to be hidden in your client search. And you can see I'm still working for this client. I'm going to go back into these recommended properties. And now I can see, let me unhide that one. All right, so now I have these two properties that I've added into my client's portal. trying to get them to show up here in the portal I'm refreshing there they go so I'm in my clients portal and now I have these recommended properties so my client can look at these recommended properties they're going to click on them and there they are so I just wanted to show you that now we need to we're done recommending properties for this client. So we just click here and we're going to stop working on behalf of our contact. Okay, so that's what work on behalf of means here. Let me check and see if I have any questions. All right, so that's it for subscriptions and portals. To set up a subscription and portal with a new search, come into Quick Search, select your criteria, go to Save, and then Save Search. And then you're going to save and add subscription. You can go into Contact Management. You can open a contact. Go into your Searches and Subscriptions tab. And you can add a search, scroll through your saved searches and select one, click on attach search. And then right in the back door, as I call it, right from contact management, you can click on that search and add a subscription. And this is your subscription email. This is the name of the subscription. This will show up in the portal. You can see that you're going to get a copy. Your contact's going to get a copy. You set up your schedule. Put a subject in the email. And remember, this is the automatic email. So put a subject that's going to say listing updates for that area fill in your body and click on save. From within your contact management, these blue bars indicate which clients are active. So you can concentrate on your active clients. Look at their activities, see what listings that they're very much interested in. 
If you see one that is clicked on so many times, touch base with your client. Ask them if they want to see it. Go into the portal tab. And if they are searching outside um, of the safe searches that you've put in there for them, you can click here. And you'll see what properties that they're searching for. Maybe they've changed directions. This can give you a good indication. Under the Messages tab, this is where your emails back and forth between the portal and you are going to go. On these subscriptions, if you click here, you can also, if you decide to change the schedule or change the email, you can do that there. So just click from within contact management. Say you need to change up the schedule that they're receiving. Maybe this got to be too much. They're getting too many emails. You can change it and then always click save. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope this helped you to clear up and simplify subscriptions and portals. I have no more questions. Thank you for joining and we will see you next time. <music>